Today we celebrate Jesus' glorious entry into Jerusalem. And we gloriously enter into one of the important weeks in the liturgical year, Holy Week. A very sacred week for all of us. Sacred week to reflect over the passion, death, and resurrection of Christ. It is central to our faith and to our religion because this week holds the important events of a Christian belief. It is a moving experience each year on Palm Sunday as we go to the mountain with Jesus towards the temple accompanying him on his ascent. Though all were not able to process still, we took part partially in this ceremony of welcoming Jesus into, the, into our church. We have made you take part in best possible way in this procession that we could do. On this day, throughout the world and across the places, people of every age acclaim, crying out, Hosanna to the King of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The palm spring in our hands, they have been blessed. So the palm spring simply means that, on one hand, we sing the triumph of Christ our Lord, we accompany him as king that he is, yet at the same time we say, Christ is the only thing that matters. And my life has no meaning whatsoever unless it becomes Christocentric. Secondly, we take this palm spring to our houses and this assures us of the protection, a very special blessing indeed from God, the Father of mercies. Let the palms remind us that Christ is the king of our families, Christ is the king of our hearts, and that Christ is the only true answer to our quest in our lives. And if we do proclaim Christ as our king, let us try to make him take time to be with him daily. Let us be reminded that further that our careers, our education, our finances, our homes, all the basic material needs in our lives are just, they are only temporary. Let us prioritize and place Christ as the king and the primary concern of our lives. It is only when we have done this that we will find true peace and happiness in confused and complex world. There is a very important lesson that we could learn from this event too. To this event, the crowd received Jesus gloriously into Jerusalem. But that glorious entry did not last long. It ended pretty soon than expected. Who would have thought that the crowd which welcomed Jesus with such enthusiasm during his entry into Jerusalem would turn against him so quickly within days and demand his crucifixion? Their welcome and shouts for Jesus were superficial. The support for him was only skin deep. It was easy to be part of the crowd that welcomed Jesus. It was easy to be part of the crowd that condemned Jesus' death. But it was and is, is difficult to be part of Jesus' life. But that animal which carried Jesus somewhat was part of Jesus' life. Seems here is what took place the next day after Jesus' entry into Jerusalem. Two donkeys were walking in Jerusalem when the donkey that carried Jesus on Palm Sunday said to the other donkey, Just yesterday, I was here carrying Jesus and people were singing, shouting, and throwing down their clothes 
for me to walk on. And today, they don't even recognize me. The other donkey replied, that is how it is, my friend. Without Jesus, you are nothing. A great lesson for us. Liturgy calls us to become humble donkey, that which is ready to carry Jesus. As we carry Jesus to the world, we may receive the same welcome that Jesus received on Palm Sunday, but we also may meet the same opposition, crosses, and trials later. Like the donkey, we are called upon to carry Christ to a world that does not know him. Let us always remember that a Christian without Christ is contradiction in terms. Such a one betrays the Christian message. Hence, let us become transparent Christians during this Holy Week, enabling others to see in us Jesus' universal love, unconditional forgiveness, and sacrificial service. Let us be the bearers of Christ our Lord. Amen.